Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be checking out a really cool camp encounter where Hosea almost kills Bill Williamson. So it's amazing the things you'll see if you just hang out at camp, whether that's in chapter 2, 3, 4, even 6. You'll see the characters interact with each other in really, really cool ways. And it's a neat opportunity to get a lot of background information that the side missions or the main quests won't tell you about. So this one in particular is all about Hosea not liking lazy people. And it starts with Bill Williamson. So several times throughout the story, Bill Williamson will find himself not working. And this is much to the dismay of Hosea. He is not a fan of that. And this is what happens. Get up and find us some money and find us some goddamn food. Hosea, Dutch and you says we're supposed to keep a low profile. Are you an imbecile or are you just pretending? Go rob a house, sir. Ask some sheriff about a bounty. Shoot a godforsaken animal. I don't care. Do something. Tell him, Arthur. Do what Hosea says. Screw you, Morgan. God. I got these for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Williamson. I got all the fish you fools is about to eat. I did my bit, Arthur. Thank you, Bill. I thanked you already. Wasn't that loud enough? Okay, so as you saw there, Hosea is pretty pissed with Bill Williamson. However, things get a little bit more heated. After those encounters, the next time Bill Williamson decides to slack off, Hosea will take things into a bit more of a serious matter. And he'll actually pull his gun out in the middle of camp on Bill. Take a listen to this. You okay? In trouble again, Bill? Hosea does no more than I do, so he can shut up. He's earned that right. You ain't. <laughs> so what's wrong with you, you old fool? Go sleep it off, you drunken buffoon. Excuse me. I've excused you quite enough. Go sleep it off, you drunk. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. There he is. This place. How did we end up over this way? Huh? Well... I guess we know the answer to that. Okay, Arthur. So how insane would that have been if Hosea had just shot Bill in the middle of camp? That would have been absolutely bonkers. Uh, it would have been interesting if he had like shot him in the leg or something like that. And then for the next couple of days, you saw Bill with like a bandage over his leg and was limping for a little bit. That would have been some serious realism. But I guess Hosea resisted just enough to end up not shooting Bill Williamson. But apparently this is something that Hosea has thought for a long, long time now. He has not been a fan of Bill for, uh, I guess, like ages now. Right, going here, Arthur. Arthur, sure. Good. You know, we've been riding a long time together, haven't we? Sure. When I first met you, I... I used to think you were all stuck up. I know. You told me a fair few times. I did? <clears throat> well, I'm... I'm sorry. No, you ain't. And I don't blame you. I used to think you was one sorry excuse for a man. 
Well, you've, you've changed your mind since then, right? Absolutely, Bill. We all have. Ain't that so, Arthur? Sure. What is it you called him? Uh, sheep in wolf's clothing. That's it. Is that right? <laughs> well, thanks. Thank you. Don't mention it. Now, Bill Williamson is not the only one that Hosea doesn't really like. The next person that Hosea doesn't like because they're slacking on their work is Sean. So Sean gets sort of the exact same treatment as Bill. This is what happens when Sean ends up falling asleep and not doing any work. Goddamn work. It was just. I ain't interested. Get up and work. Yes. Useless sack of crap, this kid is. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I shall. Harley? So I'm telling you guys, Hosea is ruthless. He does not mess around, even at his old age. He is a stickler when it comes to putting people to work. And this is only amplified when Sean is actually on guard duty and Hosea ends up finding him asleep. And this is what happens. Nothing going on out here, Arthur. Good. Hey, send one of them girls down when you get a chance, would you? Shut up. You useless sack of shit! I, Get up! I'm, I'm, you want us all dead, do you? I'm, I'm, I'm just. Next time I'll slit your throat myself. He's useless, that big sack of turd. I knew that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Keep your eyes open. All right. I said I'm sorry. I just nodded off, Jesus. That ain't no excuse. What was that about? Yampu was asleep on guard duty. What? That lazy bastard. <laughs> See anything, Sean? Nothing at all, mister. At least nothing human. Very good. <clears throat> You see anything, son? Nothing at all. Good. You need anything? No. All good. Say, Mr. Matthews. What is it? Are you going to be okay? I should think so. We usually are. It's a big country. As long as you run far enough away, folk forget all about you. At least that's always worked so far. <laughs> you keeping alert there? Of course I am. Hey, why do you never get guard duty anyway? Oh, you're so good at it, Sean. Oh my God, Hosea is absolutely ruthless saying he would have slit his throat himself. That is crazy. So I'm telling you guys, you do not want to get on the wrong side of Hosea or he will make you pay. Basically, if you're at camp and you're supposed to be working, you better work. And if you're supposed to be doing something, you better not be slacking or you better not be sleeping because Hosea will find you and he will rip you a you-know-what. So anyways, that right there is just some of the camp encounters that you can have in Red Dead Redemption 2 that reveal a lot more information about the characters and sort of their background and backstory. 
We'll be talking about some more a little bit later in the day. And as always, if you know of any other cool encounters that happen like this, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.